Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. For the last couple of years, we have covered a numerous web scraping tool with and without AI. In this video, we are going to locally install this tool called as Scraplink, which enables you to do undetectable, lightning fast and adaptive web scraping in various ways. This Python library helps you build web scrapers quite easily that can resist website changes, anti-bot measures and few other things. It provides adaptive scrapping to automatically adjust to website modifications using smart element tracking. Also, as per the repo developers, this scrapling tool is way faster than alternatives like Beautiful Soap 4 and Auto Scraper and few others which I already have covered on the channel so i'm quite interested to see that how this works and especially one thing which jumps out is that they say that it also bypasses a captcha and anti-bot stuff so let's see how it works we are going to install it locally and then we will see um, how it works with couple of websites with and without captcha let me also give a huge shout out to our sponsors of the video who are iGenPod iGenPod lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. So let's get started. This is my Ubuntu system which I am going to use. First up, let's create a virtual environment in Conda so that everything will remain separate and we don't have to worry about all the dependencies and stuff. And it shouldn't take too long okay so that is done next up i would highly recommend that no matter which web scraping tool you are working with always install the playwright beforehand because playwright which is a web browser library does a lot of things is a must for the scraping tool in order to install playwright on linux first you need to install these libraries which are already installed on my system and then there is one more library which we need to install that is also done and now we can install our playwright with simple pip command that is done to it is quite lightweight and then we need to download these uh, browsers the headless one i think let me re rerun it i believe it is already installed which is good and then we need to install this anti-bot browser detect because this is what i believe it uses behind the scene so the anti-bot browser is called as camo fox and this is a steel theme minimalistic custom build of firefox for web scraping so we need to install it i have seen that if you don't install it this tool simply doesn't work okay so that is also done and now we can install the scraplink with a simple pip command so pip install scraplink and that is pretty lightweight so it should be done fairly quickly now let me launch this scrap link first time it installs few things and that is already done so which is pretty cool and it brings us to our python prompt the first thing i'm going to do is to check it out with the captcha website so i'm just going to go to captcha.com and then i'm just going to check out this website to see if this tool can scrape this website or not so for that i'm just going to first import the library um, scrap link with fetcher and then let instantiate this fetcher with auto match false and then let me get the page with a with the simple get method from fetcher you can see that i'm just simply using the url to that page with this fetcher.get and it has already fetched it the speed is quite cool that is good and the http status code is 200 so it means that there was no access denied or anything which is cool and now let's see if it can get all the text there you go all the text is there and you can of course programmatically handle it if you are doing the web scrapping i think rest of it is your own coding skill maybe you can use any llm coding llm to parse it and write a whole code to build your own web scraping tool how good is that okay let's try out another page so another page that is without captcha but that is my own blog hosted on google blog post uh blog spot sorry so you see that it includes a lot of things but there is no captcha let's see how it works with this sort of stuff i'm again importing the fetcher i don't need to but i'm just doing it for the sake of 
completion then again instantiate it and now let me get my page with the fetcher dot get command there you go it took slightly bit longer because the page is quite rich and then we can display all the text there you go everything is there I can see that it has also scraped the sidebar and all that stuff maybe I don't see any uh, I would say text but I think that is fine this video shows that is nice I think it has done pretty decent job in a quite fast way which is quite good but of course try it out with your own websites let me know if you face any issues or because there are a lot of uh, things and features which they have mentioned on their website like um, it could do steals it could do also a lot of stuff for example um, i'll show you another example where you can do the http get request just like we did here let me go up and then for example i'm just going to go with the fetcher.get with this quotes website and then we already have seen how it works with the alt text you can also work uh, with css selector or cascading style sheet selector like this you can go with the x path one and if you, if you have done web scraping you know what exactly these terms mean i'm not going to go into that detail you can even go with chained selectors like this and then uh, you can even use python pythonic lambda functions like a for loop in the one go something like this you can also get the first quoted element if you like and there are a lot of other things which you can do for example you just want to get the inner html of some element you can simply run this and it is going to give you the html content you can even prettify it with simple prettify command there you go so it has prettified it and then there are a lot of other functions and attributes there's a loss, long list on their repo and documentation which you can check and i will drop the link to it in videos description but let me know what do you think about this tool and if this tool works with your own use case or not because that is quite important nothing is perfect please keep that in mind also towards the end i would also like to thank mass compute who have sponsored the vm for this video if you're looking to rent a vm gpu or cpu on very very affordable prices you can find the link of their website in video description with a 50% discount coupon and I'm sure you're, you're gonna love it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.